Replay mod 1.18 and 1.18.1 just got released today and of course as always I have you covered showing you how to install it including the FFmpeg part. So we're gonna have to download a lot of things and as always the links are down in the description. First we need fabric. You just click on download universal char file. Then we're heading over to the fabric API. Next, we're downloading the Fabric API. In Fabric API, make sure that you download the correct version. So if you want to install it 4.1 or 4.0, make sure to select the correct one. If you want to download them, you just click on download file and then it is going to bring you this page. You wait for five seconds. Now, some of those files you actually have to click on keep down here, but since I downloaded them already probably 10 times, uh, just here over the last few weeks, it is not going to show me this message anymore. Then we need Optifine and in Optifine we currently have a full release but it also still shows us the pre-7 version. Now let's go ahead and click on mirror on the full release. Also here a little note, pre-7 actually currently have some issues with the OptiFabric. Let's click on download. Next we're going over to OptiFabric. Now OptiFabric currently is only available on 1.18. So the, uh, that one re version is not released yet. But also here, we are just clicking on download. We're going through the five seconds and then it is going to download this file as well. Next, we're heading over to replay mod and in the download section, you can find the 18 version here. We click on download. And also this file here is going to download on our bottom left. Now, the last thing that we need is FFmpeg. So we're just going over to uh, FFmpeg.org. We click on download and then you scroll down. You select the operating system that you have. And now we have two different links here. Those links potentially change from the time when you are watching this video but all of them are very similar you just go in and you are trying to find a ffmpeg essential build so for example this one here would work or if we go to the other link this one here brings us to GitHub and again we can uh, pretty much get any of those because we just need one of the smallest ones so let's see i have a win 64 so i will just install this one here again you click on it and it downloads it so now we're taking all of those files that we just downloaded and we are just dragging them onto our desktop that's what i prefer to do because so we have most space to work with now the first thing that we are going to need is our fabric installer so we just double click on it so you just select the version that you want up here, 18 or 18.1, and then you click on install. I already have that installed, so I can skip this step. Then we are going to open up our mods folder. If you don't know where your mods folder is, go into the search bar and type in percentage app data percentage, and then open this folder. That is the roaming folder, and usually the very first one is your .minecraft folder. In here, you should have a folder called mods. If you don't have that, you can just create that. Right-click, create a new folder called mods. Now we have a few things that we have to drop over here. Of course, we have to drop in our Fabric API. You can see I already have that in. So I don't need that. Then we drop in our Optifine. And I'm actually going to replace my pre-7 and drop in the newest version. Then we are dropping in our replay mod. And we are also dropping in OptiFabric. And again, I already have OptiFabric in, so I don't need that. Now, you also could, instead of Optifine and OptiFabric, of course, you also can use Sodium and Iris. Or you don't need them at all if you don't want them but most likely if you do replay mod you also want shader support so next let's work on our ffmpeg and i'm just going to drop that into my uh, video related folder so as you can see i already have an ffmpeg but i'm still going to show you how you can do it so you just right click the folder over here you click on extract extract again and now everything is being unpacked and as you can see here on the bottom right, we now have this new folder. Now, the one thing that you have to do is you just have to go and rename it and just shorten this name. 
because replay mod has a limited character number available to tell them where this folder is so you're just uh, shortening it down but since i already have everything set up i'm not going to unlink that here now let's go ahead and start up minecraft and make sure that everything works and then i show you how to link ffmpeg so we are at this screen again because with everything that we currently have Optifine and Optifabric does not work, but I'm pretty sure in a very near future everything is going to work. The problem is Replay Mod just got released, 1.18 just got released, and then shortly after 1.18.1 got released. So sometimes some of the mods are not compatible. And it looks like currently Replay Mod with Optifine and Optifabric and I tried the pre-7 version and the uh, full release version and um, Optifabric is not working together and most likely Optifabric is the the bad apple in the batch because Optifabric already had issues with certain versions of Optifine but for the time being what already works is Sodium and Iris and I'm gonna show you really quick where you can download those if you are in replay mod you can just click here to show the compatible sodium versions and then as you can see here it is compatible with sodium and iris so all you have to do is click on the download here and that is don downloading you the sodium version and then the iris one you just uh, click on the iris link here brings you over it to this page here and i also will going to put this link down in the description and in the versions you can find this 1.1.3 we downloaded here and uh, you can just take those two files onto your desktop and then drop them into your mods folder also keep an eye on the channel because eventually we are going to have all the mods needed to go with iris and sodium to fully replace optifine and if you hit the subscribe button you are going to see as soon as that video pops up so now with minecraft started up you can see this little sign here that tells us that replay mod is installed and if you go in here you actually can see all your old replay files so if you used replay mod before all your files are still here Let's go ahead and go into a server so that we can record something really quick. So now that everything is loaded up, we can start recording. If you don't know how to use replay mod, I have a version in the top right corner and soon I'm going to give you an updated version for 1.18. Now we just record for a few seconds here and then we can stop the recording as soon as we end the world replay file is being saved and if we go back in the main menu and we go into the replay viewer we now have this uh, file here so let's load it up and let's just drop our markers in and now if we go into render camera path all the way at the bottom here in this file we have to tell replay mod where is our ffmpeg file and as you can see for me it is already in because i used it before but if you use replay mod for the first time you just go wherever you installed your ffmpeg folder you go into that folder and now it's in here in bin and we have this ffmpeg.exe all we have to do is we just copy this one here with Control c we go back in here we delete everything out that's here Control v slash ffmpeg dot exe and now you can click on render and it is rendering your video thank you very much for watching and i hope i see you at my next video